Hey guys, welcome to the firehouse. Come on in. Hey friends, welcome to the fire station. My name's Firefighter Tim. What's yours? Nice to meet you. Let's go into the bays. I want to show you some really neat things. Hey friends, today we're going to learn all about the fire gear that keeps us safe. I'm going to get some help from my friend, Firefighter Renee. I'm going to call her. Hey Renee! Hey. Hmm. I don't think she heard me. On the count of three, do you guys think you can help me call Firefighter Renee? You can? Awesome. Ready? One, two, three. Renee! Hey, Renee. I've got some friends for you to meet. Friends, this is Renee. Well, hello. We've got a group of eager learners ready to learn all about our fire gear. And I told them you could help. I would love to help. I have my whole set right here. Well, as you can see, my gear is setting right here by the truck, ready to go. These are called my bunkers. So first, I gotta take my boots off and I have fancy zippers in them. So I kick off my boots and I step into my bunkers. I said pants, my bunkers were my pants and my suspenders. I forgot to mention my boots. Boots are super important. I have huge pockets. I carry lots of stuff in my pockets and I've got nice knee pads so when I'm crawling, my knees are protected. Here are my suspenders. I can make them longer or shorter, but they help hold my pants up. The next thing I would put on is not my coat like you probably thought, but my hood. This is my Nomex hood. I put it on and pull it all the way down. Make sure that it's all laid out. Next is my coat. This coat is pretty cool. It's super heavy and thick, which protects me from heat and from fire. I have clasps. I gotta make sure I get them all done. Put my Velcro up and now pull my hood out a little bit. Next goes my pack. As you can see, my gear just keeps getting heavier and heavier. Now, there are some special things about this pack. Do you know what it carries in this bottle? What was that? It carries air. So when I go into a smoky environment, if there's a house that's on fire and it's all filled with smoke, I carry my air with me so I can breathe. After I put my pack on, next comes my mask. I gotta tighten it down. Next comes my hood. I gotta put it back up so I can protect my ear. And now I'm all covered. You can't even tell whether I'm a boy or a girl. Am I forgetting some things? What am I forgetting? It's my helmet! Here is my helmet. Gotta tighten it down. And put on my strap. Now I'm almost all covered. But no, wait, you can still see my hands. That would be dangerous in a fire. I gotta put on my gloves. And then I can click on air. Can you hear me breathe? Man, how cool is this gear? You know what? How much do you think all this gear weighs? 
200 pounds? No. 70 pounds? That's right, Wyatt, way to go. Let's take a closer look at this helmet. So this helmet helps keep our head safe in a fire. If anything falls on it, it also has all these reflectors that can help somebody see us all the way through the smoke. All right, Renee, let's take off your air pack. All right, let's shut this air pack off. So this air pack has 4,500 pounds of air. A machine pushes all that air right into this tube. Let's shut this off. All right. Let's take a close look at this. And Renee's coat has a flashlight on it that helps us see if it's dark. And it has her radio. The radio is something that helps us communicate. That's a big word, communicate. Can you guys all say communicate? Awesome. All right, that radio helps us talk to people inside and outside of the fire. All right. I'm gonna hang it back up on the truck so it's ready to go. Everything has to go back to where it went because we always have to be ready just in case the alarm goes off that any time it goes off, Renee or any of our firefighters have to put all of that gear on in just over a minute. Hey, do you think we can thank Renee for all of her help today? I couldn't hear you, let's say thanks. All right, I've got a question for you. What was the favorite thing you saw today? The helmet? Oh, oh, the knee pads. The suspenders? Oh man. The fire engine behind me? Well, I'll tell you what, how about the next time you come to the firehouse, we could talk about that fire engine or maybe the tools that are on it. Sound like a plan? All right. Hey, bye guys, thanks for coming. <laughs>